Hey, hello everyone, my name is Chris and welcome back to another movie review. Today I'm gonna be reviewing Robin Hood and as usual I'm quickly gonna go through the story of this movie to tell you in short what the movie is all about. Then I'm gonna share my opinions and thoughts about this movie. So in case you didn't watch it, one big spoiler alert across the screen. So yeah, just click away from this video and come back after you watch a movie if you want to. If you don't want to, that's totally okay. But if you really are interested right now in my opinions and thoughts about this movie, then stay with me till the end of this video and let's get started. Alright, so Robin Hood is a movie released in 2018. It's a historical slash action movie about Robin Hood. I mean, if you don't know who Robin Hood is, then... You must be living under a rock or something. Anyways, story of this movie follows uh, Robin Loxley, uh, which later becomes Robin Hood. And uh, at the beginning of the movie he goes to Crusade War, leaving his uh, property and uh, girlfriend behind. After some years he comes back from war to home and he finds out that home is not really there anymore because it's been uh, robbed by this sheriff which is leading uh, his country. And uh, he's very uh, greedy and uh, corrupted. The entire system uh, is really corrupted and politics is so corrupted that it's robbing people, taking their properties. Uh, they even took his property from him. He used to be a very rich uh, young man that lived on a huge property. And uh, that sheriff... Uh, pronounced him dead. Uh, he told people that uh, he died in war, including his girlfriend, and everybody thinks that he is dead. And uh, entire property was taken away from him. And uh, people are really unhappy. They are working hard uh, in mines, mining uh, all day, and uh, it's really tough situation uh, in in his uh, country. Also, he lost his girlfriend. Uh, she found another guy to share love with because she thought that uh, he's dead because they told her that he's dead. Robin uh, gets really heartbroken when he sees her with the other guy, uh, and that's when uh, Robin meets this guy that he met in uh, war and they become friends and they decide to do something about that uh, situation about uh, corrupted system and that sheriff who uh, robbed the entire country and that's pretty much where Robin Hood was born the guy who stole from the rich and gave to poor so yeah this is just another Robin Hood movie I would say but it's bit better than uh, other Robin Hood movies. I, what I liked about this movie the most was uh, the way they showed corruption in this movie. You know, this movie is set in a middle age and uh, I love how they uh, showed realistically how corruption and politicians uh, work against their people. How they steal our money and rob us all possible ways. And when you look at this movie you actually realize that it's been like that since since forever since money started to exist that's that's where everything went to hell pretty much you know there there always been corruption and bad politics and bad politicians and that's what i love about this movie you know it shows uh, that so realistically i love how they um combined church in this movie and religion with the corrupt system because that's exactly how it is today you know everything is uh, corrupt and uh, politicians are working with church and just blinding people you know to believe in God that wants money or whatever you know and I was so well shown in this movie man it's, it's just the thing that I really liked you know the corruption was very well presented in this movie. From the other side, action in this movie uh, was not too great but not too bad also. Why is that? Well, I really like the action scenes in this movie, you know, when uh, Robin takes his bow and arrow and, you know, kills all these guys and I liked also the parkour he does in the movie, you know, that was also very cool. Uh, I'm a person who trains parkour in real life for eight years now and uh, I think parkour was uh, 
very well done actually in this movie in some scenes I mean this movie showed that uh, action can be done pretty well with bow and arrow without guns you know most of the action movies today include guns and are set in modern age but what's really cool about this movie is that there is no guns it's set in the middle age and uh, action is very well done for for that time but it also felt like forced in some scenes it felt like Come on, that's that's not possible. How did you just do that? You know, with a bow and arrow. That's that's very unrealistic, and you know, it was just too much at some moments. I think, but most of the time was fun, and I enjoyed it. The main issue I had with this movie was the way characters were dressed in the movie. Uh, in most of the scenes, that uh, sheriff and even Robin and his girlfriend they all look like they're dressed in 21st century most of the characters in this movie even people at some scenes they look like they're dressed in in modern clothes and that was just killing me through the entire movie you're trying to watch a movie that's set in the middle age and then just character clothing looks like modern age clothing and that was just killing me through the entire movie. I was like, fuck, that's just it's like stabbing me in the eye. I just couldn't watch it in some scenes. I was just, oh, that's so bad. Like, come on. You did all the effects and actions so well, but you fucked up the costumography. I mean, come on. That's like at least the easiest thing to do in the movies. If you ask me, I think this is one very good uh, middle-age uh, vigilante movie because if you think a little bit of a character, he actually is vigilante. I mean, he stole from the rich and gave to poor. You know, he was a good guy. He uh, started the revolution against corrupt system and politicians. And uh, yeah, it, it was a fun movie. It was fun to watch. And it's just one of those movies that will be fun to watch. It's nothing really special, so don't expect too much from it. But if you want to watch a historical movie that's uh, combined with good action, and that action sometimes feels a little bit too much, but not really often, then yeah, Robin Hood uh, 2018 is definitely a movie for you, and I'm sure you're gonna like it. So that's it guys for this movie review, if you enjoyed it then go ahead and leave a like, share, comment or subscribe if you want, if you don't want to you don't have to, it's totally okay. And if you want you can join my Chris Facebook group, link is down below in the description together with my ass.fm where you can leave any questions if you have any questions. And yeah guys, I love you, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next videos. Chris out.